Well, a judge's ruling last night means changes for how you'll vote in the spring. The voter ID law is on hold, meaning you won't need a photo ID to vote in the presidential primary. Government reporter Joe Bruno has covered election law changes extensively and joins us with what this means for you. Well, the state in Mecklenburg County have spent weeks educating voters about the changes that are coming in 2020, but all of that, because of this latest ruling, is on hold for now. A federal judge out of the Middle District of North Carolina in Winston-Salem released a note last night blocking the ID requirement for 2020. The note said a full order will come next week, but the announcement was made now in advance of the state sending out information to millions of voters. Here in Mecklenburg County, election officials had already planned events at live libraries and assisted living facilities to explain the new law. The county also issued IDs to a couple dozen people who traveled to the office to request one. The in injunction means the county will now focus its educational efforts for uh, the new voting equipment that will be used in the March primary. This is yet another twist and turn in North Carolina politics that involves all voters. It's uh, kind of expected now, I think. Uh, uh, put everything down in pencil is our, is our business right now because we're going to be erasing some of those things. This ruling can be appealed by Attorney General Josh Stein, who is a Democrat. Absentee ballots go out in 17 days. Back to you. Joe, good information there. Thank you.